Hi guys, it's a brand new day and welcome back to Mzee Chicks YouTube channel. Mzee Chicks is my name. Ah, uh, number one world best chicken dad. Ah, uh, uh, we've been uh, talking about the the so to cut feed costs by just uh, use of this so called. Azola and uh, as you're seeing here in the background, uh, it's my Azola mother pond. Uh, in my location here, it's very hard to get these uh, Azola seedlings. I don't know how about in your location is, but for me here, it's very hard, and it's the same to other people out there because uh, you've been asking me how do you get how to get this azola uh, seedlings but one advisor will say before we go through or oh, before i take you through how to set your azola pond uh one advisor would give here it's that uh since it's very hard to get this azola seedlings uh i do advise that if it happen you get even if you be getting just one uh, just half of this Azola uh, seedlings. It's all about uh, to set your small or what we're going to call uh, Azola mother pond. After that one is separate, of course you'll be able to separate uh, or to start even in other bigger ponds. But the main important is that uh, that the seedlings you will start with. Yeah, Azola, it's a, uh, it's a water floating weed, as you see. Uh, so, if you're setting this sea pond, of course, you have uh, to retain your water. Uh, so that uh, your seedling will be on will be on water uh, so afterwards there are two alternatives you can dig your pond down or you can uh, try to set your ponds uh, going upwards as we shall see next time but this time around we are uh, using ponds underground we are using ponds we are just digging ponds uh, under under the soil the bracket point then it's laid down there just to retain our water to retain our water so that uh, even if it will be dry season even if it's what our water will be there and then our azola will be growing on water there on water there yeah as you see me i just use the dc bracket protein uh you can use any other thing are uh, you seeing mine here of course afterwards we have to add their water after adding their water you have to add their fertilizer in your water in your water of course here we have uh chicken dung uh, we have goat's dung we have cow dung and you can use any you can use any to apply there in water but the advisor will give here uh, use decayed use decayed uh, manure to apply there in your water because if you will be using fresh manure or fresh dung that one will affect your azola as you see mine here it's a bit reddish it's a bit reddish it's not uh, as green uh, just for two reasons uh, my pond here it's in an open place and the advice here if you're setting your ponds try to put them uh, try to give provide a shed to your ponds so that they can your azola will uh, can't experience this direct sunlight that's why you're seeing mine it's a bit reddish 
and then another thing your azolla will be a uh, green it will show this that, that green color uh, as you apply their manure in your water my mother pound here it's in an open place as you see here so uh, my azolla experiences or receives that direct sunlight but after removing the seedlings to other ponds of course they turn green so try to provide shade to your azora ponds if you want it to be to appear green so that's very very important i talked about the the, the, the amount of seedling you receiving uh, it will multiply within no time for me here as you see this uh, mother pond here i just used the one uh, i just used a half a kilo but as you see it has already separated the hollow pond and every week we do remove uh, to set up other bigger ponds so uh, since it's very hard to get these seedlings just to start with those few seedlings and then you will be spreading into other ponds within no time <laughs> That's uh, how simple you can set your azolla ponds. Me, I just used as always. I just use simple, simple things. We just use this black poison. Uh, afterwards, we added their water, fertilizer there. Then we just introduce in our uh, azolla seedlings. So that's how simple. You can set your Azola pond. Uh, if it happen that you want to get some seedlings, just contact me. Just contact me. If you're not very far from me, uh, of course, you will receive those of you. And you start your Azola ponds. As I told you, it's very nutritious. It it has it's it's high in protein, so it's very good for our local chickens and even our and even other farm animals. And it will help you to cut up to even 60 to 70 percent uh, your feed see costs. So it's a deal. Uh, if you don't want to go for other yeah, for other things like uh, black soldier flies, it's a deal. You can go uh, for Azala, as you're seeing me here. <laughs> 